all right so there's a range of topics that i've been wanting to talk about on the reddit and the first one we're going to kick it off with is this fgo versus stay night conversation now i want to preface this by saying i don't know why the community wants to waste time going against itself to my experience we are the only ones that do this we are supposed to be clicked up and beefing with other communities but instead y'all would rather beef between each other about type moon projects it's all type moon we're all winning it doesn't even make sense Carl no Kiyokai fans that's my mans Tsukihime fans that's my mans Mahoyo fans that's my mans why am I going at my own mans only in this community I tell you anyway there's a lot of things that's brought to the surface a lot of points that's been talked about for forever you know things like ritsuka not being a good character i've seen people say this for years and usually it is an og fan but these guys they make them out to be one of the worst characters ever written and it's because fgo has had such longevity compared to other novels it's extremely long just because there's pictures and music doesn't make it any less of a novel it's still a novel so the way they're looking at it Rasuka should be judged by the same things as every other main character that we have we're what seven years in and counting and that's just so far so they're like where is the seven years worth of development now if this was any other character and they had seven years to develop and there wasn't much to show for the community would be down their throats which is very true me I've never really looked at Rasuka as an actual character I look at Rasuka to do exactly what he's meant to do which is be a vehicle that's why when something major goes down in the story i was never like oh why didn't he do this or why didn't this happen i was never looking at him to do that specific thing because i'm not looking at a vehicle to have this type of character could he be funnier sure could he be wittier fine but as far as i'm concerned he does exactly what he needs to do all i'm looking for him to do is keep the consistency in the story which he's done there's the self-insert meme where there's the trope of the writer inserting themselves into the story because they want to be like that character maybe the writer wasn't that fortunate with women so in their mind they want to be mr bitches so they make the main character mr bitches are you telling me that you're mad at rasuka for being mr bitches let me not put it like that I think the bigger issue is that if you remove the FGO element from Rasuka, he's no different from the seasonal cookie cutter high school protagonist with a harem, which is also true, but he's not that, so it doesn't matter. Here's another point, shallow servants, excessive fan service, and gender bending, plus nostalgia baiting with pseudo servants, and I'll be honest, I was only interested in playing FGO to play a game involving the OG Face Stay Night cast. I want to hit that last point immediately. You're part of the problem. You just said it yourself. You had no interest in seeing the story unless it had the old characters. So you never wanted to see a new story, you just wanted to see the old characters over again. So just go read the old story. There are a lot of characters in fgo you should know as a face stay night fan that everybody cannot be at the forefront that was the whole point of the routes everybody couldn't be at the forefront at once so the routes had designated people that they would give shine to as opposed to everybody else well fgo doesn't have routes one stop shop you get what you get and it's over so if that character doesn't get their shine the first time around then it's just too bad i will say that they could come back around and do things like more interludes or something that's similar to an interlude people really sleep on the interludes but they really tell you a lot about their character and just make something that's similar to it that gives the character more backbone instead of them showing up one time in this event or in this chapter and then you just hardly ever see them again because now it just looks like that character is showing face i don't disagree with that part there are a lot of shallow service excessive fan service there is a lot of fan service it doesn't bother me it's just something that you get used to i said it time and time again over the years running the channel horny sales okay a lot of these little dudes are young and horny and horny sales and some of them aren't young some of these people are grown men horny sales the same thing with the gender bending there are certain service that i really like that i would appreciate it if they were who they were supposed to be in lore but you know we got what we got so it is what it is i really like oda a lot i like oda and i like musashi so i would appreciate it if oda and musashi were actually men like they were in lore 
but you know we got what we got that's not to say that i dislike the counterparts that we have but there's plenty of actual women that you can use to get that same effect so at times it can be irritating well it used to be irritating it doesn't even bother me at this point you just expect them to do it but here's the problem with them using you know actual cool figures that are women from history nobody cares and the only time they do is when they're over sexualized they could use them and they have done it before they've done it multiple times i keep saying oh why don't they they've done it and you know what happens nobody rolls joan of arc was one of the first of many incredible backstory you know what happened nobody cared until they made her edgy and made her a sundere that's just what it is cleopatra calamity jane and if it wasn't bad enough that people didn't care they didn't get big enough roles in the story to make them care so why should they care you know you you make these characters and then you just cast them to the side of course it's not gonna matter to them but there are characters that i feel like it worked for too i like mordred i feel like that was an interesting take on his character canis she actually has a transition in her background that makes her lore make sense i like the play on the mona lisa with da vinci so it's not all bad nostalgia baiting i'm not gonna lie there might be more saber counterparts than there are classes in the entire series and there are a lot of classes i've seen people say if they make one more counterpart to saber they're gonna jump off a cliff they're gonna run their head into the wall i've seen it i can't blame them if you're gonna nostalgia bait like i said for her character specifically they can give it a rest but if you're gonna nostalgia bait at least use all the characters why don't you use Issei? like there's so many other characters characters that you can use to nostalgia bait but wait a minute nobody cares about Issei it's not gonna sell like another saber face that's the problem because this could easily be rectified by you just using different characters we could get a pseudo serving Kane or we could just use Kirei which one is gonna make more money because at the end of the day that's the only thing that they care about realistically it's a business if you really want to get into FGO you're gonna get into FGO I get so sick of people acting like the characters in fate stay night and fate zero are the only ones that were good and the only ones that will ever be good till the end of time i hate that shit bro because there's so many more characters that could have the shine but let's make this character 20 more times and you know why it works because that's what the community wants the only reason it works is because that's what people want otherwise it would fail bro i remember when i was making my don't sleeps 300 characters in the series by the way make emia again what the fuck what all these characters you want me to make emia again your mouth brother you gotta stop it's that type of mentality that gets us these cheap repeats and slightly reskin do-overs do a lore for emia alter do a lore for kirisugu alter what lore find me some lore for those characters i bet you can't they literally just exist here's another point fgo has gotten so big that for a time it took away the spotlight from the rest of the nasuverse ddd witch on the holy knight Tsukihime, etc we were promised a remake of the visual novel 10 years ago and it only got released a few months ago only in japanese and fgo is constantly getting translations and updates while we only get fan translations that we have to pirate to get the reason why they keep pushing fgo stuff is because it has undisputedly had the best response out of everything in the community if those things had the same type of response it would have got the push you don't think it would have got the push it's not like fate was the first thing that nasu wrote it was the first thing that got traction like that so what's the blame is it the lack of adaptation is it because Tsukihime had to take the fall for Fate Stay Night to be great? Who knows? But that's what the community wants, so that's what they get. Same thing with me. Even now you have people ask me, why don't you make more Mahoyo stuff? Why don't you make more Tsukihime stuff? Cause I like them too. Wanna know why? Cause nobody cares. Imagine me wasting all that time to make a video that nobody cares about. So you can imagine how they feel wasting all their time when they could have made billions of dollars for something that nobody cares about. Let me not say nobody, the overwhelming majority. And that's not their fault. I made strange fake content, people were like Hanza who? I make melty blood content, people were like Scion who? 
or cool here's another one type moon is sitting on a gold mine of a universe and unanimated with unfinished story threads that hasn't been updated in years every time i see any fgo anime related news the only thing i think of is how it neglects all the other works they chose to ignore in favor of the cash cow that is fgo here's one too they've been hyping up the confrontation between arthur and b6 for years now but i think we all know at this point it's gonna end up being a two-week fgo event that has mommy milkers beast nero as the new five star who inevitably falls in love with Rasuka. and i'm sorry but i really just don't want that Rasuka has to face some of the strongest characters in fiction all of the time i mean if you go to another writer and see some of the characters that he's facing there's no way that these deities or these high level entities just fall in love with him like this so I agree with you on that. It's a plot device. It's a quick way to form a unique relationship. And big shocker, you don't have to be with a character to be cool with them. I don't like forced relationships. I don't like forced romance. I feel like it spits in the face of actual romance and a lot of people can't tell the difference between the two. But that's the reason that that exists. The way the story is carved, there's not too many ways that we can have these people on our side if that wasn't the case. We're not actually beating Kama. We're not actually beating Zeus. A lot of these characters just give up in the middle of them fighting for whatever reason they might bring to the table and we just accept it.